I used to hang out in high school. I used to hang out with a girl named Stacy. Unbeknownst to me, Stacy was actually dating Bill from Face of Decline, who the first two Face of Decline uh, demo tapes were actually just Bill. He did everything, but he wrote in the line, he wrote that there were band members, like his friends on it. And then he eventually got band people to play, like his brother Paul and um, Matt and Tom and some other people. And I had bought in a bass because I love Gene Simmons. I mean, like I said, the first aggressive record I got was Kiss Love Gun. And I remember telling Stacy, I was talking about Facey Decline. She's like, well, you know, I dating Bill. And I'm like, mind blown. Like, oh my God. And I mentioned, I was like, oh, and, and through our conversation, I'd mentioned I had a bass. And then all of a sudden I get this letter in the mail from Bill because I used to write little fan letters to these guys who live in my town who put out little demo tapes that are photocopied covers, you know. Um, I just, I really miss those days of like that kind of connecting. I don't think people these days will ever know what that's like to write physical letters. And, you know, I sound like the old guy in the porch, like, get off my lawn. But, but I just don't think there's, there's something about that, that physicality of connecting with people that way. Um, I get this letter from Bill. It's like, hey, uh, Stacy mentioned you, you bought a bass and we actually need a bass player. And I was just like, you got to be shitting me. Like, I couldn't. I remember my friend Mark Peterson. I called him immediately. I was like, because he was a big Facey Decline fan too. I was like, Bill from Facey Decline just, he asked me to join the band. And he was like, what are you going to do? I'm like, I can't play bass. I literally had just bought the bass two weeks prior. I had no idea. I don't even know how to tune the damn thing. And I was real honest, wrote a letter back. I was like, oh my God, you know, thank you. But, and of course, didn't call him, had to write a letter back. <laughs> and uh, he was like, don't worry about it. No, no worries, we'll teach you. So I remember that first day waiting for him to come pick me up for practice. And I'm just waiting and I'd never met them because they didn't really ever play shows either. They'd played only one or two shows because most of it was just Bill and then a kind of a rotating cast. And I guess they were actually trying to be a, a band. And I'm just waiting there. I'm like, oh my God, oh God. And Bill pulls up and picks me up because of course I was 15. I didn't have a car. And I was just so, I remember just sweaty palms, just, just trying to make conversation all the way to their house. And I get to their house and they have this ginormous German shepherd that pretty much, you know, like um, sick balls, you know, like that, you know, old film. Um, I felt like that. Max was the dog and um, his parents were just awesome. And so we go up into their bedroom and I was like, oh, this isn't a rock and roll palace. This is a, this is a, a bedroom. And literally they just have their little amps there. And the first song they ever taught me was Transmission by Joy Division, um, which, you know, is like two notes. And um, from then on, they kind of like eased me with some covers. And then I remember the first time they started teaching me Face of Decline songs, like it was just like, it was like heaven because I listened to these demo tapes every day of my life, like just constantly. And it just seemed like too real, like just too outrageous to be true. And um, they became my best friends. I mean, it was. They guided me along. They taught me everything I know about playing bass. Like.